Ah, don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. In 2016, that was a sign of, was a sign of danger to the establishment. That they sent out all kinds of trolls to correct the record. Remember that term? Correct the record? They were going to correct the record. Because Bernie Sanders was getting too powerful. Too <laughs> he was too correct, so they had to correct it. Anyway, trolls are trolls. Don't, don't bother with it. It's good. It's, it's just a little, it's a little side noise. So anyway, I want to, um, it's New York City, it's New York State, and it's, uh, approaching June to, uh, June 26, 2018. It's the fake Democratic primary. Uh, it's today is Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll, we'll witness a fake primary. I want to call three races right now already. <laughs> Ready? Uh, for governor, this is an interesting one. Andrew Cuomo versus Cynthia Nixon. It's going to be close, and Andrew Cuomo wins, of course. Well, these are all these are all fake elections. These are these are all incumbents or deep deep establishment candidates running um, as a Democrat for the Democratic Party, and all of the challenges are either Bernie Kratz or um, you know people that want universal health care that people want that are, are parading for um, free college tuition at city and state universities get the money out of politics so all of the establishment candidates this I'll just keep it to three there's other races but let's just talk about these three just for shits and giggles so on Tuesday night uh, Andrew Cuomo versus Cynthia Nixon Cuomo will win by I don't think they're going to be generous this time. I think they're going to they're going to make it seem like he blew her out of the water, like she had no voice, no chance. They'll probably win by 68, 70% of the vote. <laughs> 60 to 78% of the fake vote. And for public advocate, that's actually a big position in New York City. It's one below the mayor. It's one below de Blasio, right? So... If you recall, Conti vs. DSNY, I was attacking someone by the name of uh, Letitia James. She's the current public advocate right now. Excuse me, correct that. The, 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 the election is not for public advocate. The, the, the public advocate is running for attorney general. That's an open seat right now in New York because Eric Schneiderman, you remember Eric Schneiderman? He... he, 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 he the, went out the back door disgrace they they put some kind of sexual like he was beating women kind of thing some kind of so he quit coward but that wasn't what it was about all right so anyway his position is open and the two uh people running for the position is Letitia James which during Conti vs DSNY she's totally silent public advocate pff, pff, hell no um so so she's running to fill the the uh, empty attorney general seat against. You're gonna love this, Zephyr Teachout. Remember the name? Zephyr Teachout was the Bernie crap that ran, I believe, for governor. I don't even know. She had no chance of winning. But anyway, Zephyr Teachout um, is a Bernie crap. Right? She's she's all about you know you know the things. Think my platform, universal health care. Raise the corporate tax rate. Get the money out of politics, right? All these things. Zephyr Teachout against Letitia James. Who do you think is going to win that? <laughs> do you think that? Do you think that for one second, the 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 Democratic establishment in New York is going to let a Bernie Sanders advocate, a a a a a, a stamp of Bernie Sanders, a person? who is his genuinely for the people, like Zephyr Teachout, do you think that they're going to let her become the Attorney General of New York? <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. I mean, I love these people, and I think that they're they're making noble efforts. And I'll tell you the solution after I'm done reading off all three. So that's Andrew Cuomo annihilates Cynthia Nixon. There's also, in that governor race, you're going to see a name, Greg Waltman. He's a spoiler. I don't even think he's a real person. But he's a corporate spoiler. He's probably in there just to pull votes away from... from uh, he'll get... They might even 
you know, create the illusion that he got 13% of the vote, and that's why Cynthia Nixon lost. Some some bullshit like that, right? But watch for um, watch Andrew Cuomo to beat Cynthia Nixon. Greg Waldman, the spoiler for uh, Attorney General, the current sitting L- L- Letitia James against Zephyr Teachout. Uh, Loretta James, L- Letitia James will probably win by. I don't know. She'll win big, right? And the big one. This is this is the one that's. That everybody, uh, the, the lunatic left is is foaming from the mouth of, oh, she's going to win. She's got a chance. Her name is Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Ah, in District 14, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> the young Bernie crowd, 28-year-old woman. Throwing a hell of a fight. Love her. Love it. Love it. Would vote, you know, if I, if, if my vote counted, if votes actually counted, I would vote for her. I'm not going to vote. I want to sit on the side. I'm going to make a movie from across the street, a video from across the street. It's a fake election. So, Alessandra, I love saying her name. It's beautiful, right? Alessandro Ocasio Cortez. Ah, uh, running against Joe Crowley. <laughs> Joe Crowley, 10 term, 10 term congressman from New York, District 14. District 14, right? Joe Crowley is an establishment tool, right? Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez says, universal health care for all, squash the student debt, free college tuition. Right? Joe Crowley says, affordable health care. Afford- work down the student debt. <laughs> this guy's a jerk off, right? Guy's a total, total jerk off, and and he's going to slaughter the the favorite, right? Because she can't win because the elections are rigged, right? So Alessandro Ocasio Cortez against Joe Crowley. I'll give a, I'll give Joe, I'll give her maybe. Again, they're going they can't let them, they can't really show signs that these people have any chance whatsoever. So they'll probably put Cortez around, I don't know, twenty eight percent of the vote. When she's probably winning, all three candidates that I'm talking about, Nixon, Teachout, and Cortez, are probably all the favorites at this point. I mean, if you look at real, real clear politics and the other scam, you know, scam election poll uh, organizations, they'll put, they'll put them down uh, significantly. But um, so that's my prediction. I'm, maybe I'm going to try YouTube Live on Tuesday night. We'll see what happens. And. Uh, Broadcast. I don't know if that's really anything, but but uh, again, my name is Marcus Conti. I am a uh, YouTube blogger and investigative journalist, candidate for the United States Senate here in New York. And um, although I'm poking fun at the three candidates that I think should win but will not win because they'll be cheated in the Democratic fake primary, I encourage all of these candidates and all their supporters to get behind real candidates, real independent voices. Myself, for example, but people like me, right? Right? Who really stand for the truth, who really will stand up to power, who don't give a shit about, you know, trolls and opposition or or establishment politics and playing patty cake with a bunch of fucking thieves. No, we go headstrong right at them. So if if Miss Teachout and Miss Carl, Miss Miss uh, Cortez and um, I already forgot the other name. And Miss Teachout. If you guys are are sincere, after the Democratic Party rubs your face in, in feces and, and and makes you cry cry wolf and, and basically rips you off, I do hope that you run independently and join us. Peace.